Good morning, everybody. This is Jeff J. Brown in not Shenzhen, China. We are actually in um, on the island of Hainan, which I'll get to in a minute. Please bear with me. I'm doing this on my um, uh, laptop for the first time, and my wife and I have rented this apartment down here for the last next two weeks, and we're getting settled in. So um, uh, let me get the article pulled up. Usually I print these things out and – Big 24 font so I can see it, and I'm going to be reading it right off of the uh, screen. So here we go. My family is participating in the largest migration in human history. That's right. All right. Note, when finishing reading, listening to and or watching this column and podcast, sharing is caring about humanity's future and getting the non-mainstream truth out to a wider audience. So please tell your family, friends, and colleagues about China Rising Radio Sinoland, the website, Twitter, Facebook, and our new um, Syrian uh, phone app. Those don't cost you a thing. Post and follow it on your social, all your social media. Sign up for the email alerts so you on this blog page so you don't miss a beat. China is your key to understanding how the world works and where you're headed into the 21st century. So read the China Trilogy. Be so glad you did. And check out the little six-minute video link that I include. All right. Let's get to the podcast. Pictured above is a screenshot from Baidu Maps, which graphically shows humankind's largest migration. It happens every year for Chinese New Year. And a bigger record has probably been set annually for the last five millennia. The year of the dog 2018 will be no different. The lozenge above looking like the Southern Cross Formation, which graces Australia's and Zealand's flags, clearly shows China's four megacities. Beijing to the north, Shanghai to the east, Guangzhou to the south, and Chongqing to the west. Lonely Spur way out west is Urumichi, the capital of Muslim uh, Xinjiang. The isolated city to the north is Harbin, the capital of Heilongjiang. Urr! It's friggin' cold up there right now, like minus 20. Glad to be reporting from much, much further south in China. My wife and I are with our daughter, who just finished her semester finals, all taken in Chinese, by the way. At Beijing Normal University. Yesterday we flew from Shenzhen to Sanya, Hainan, island you can see on the map that is south of Guangzhou and off the coast of Vietnam. A great lunch at a packed Pizza Hut at the train station before moving on. We then took a 50 minute, 250 kilometer an hour um, high speed train, only 59 Jim MB or about nine US dollars, to Shanghai on the east coast of Hainan right next to Boao, where Baba Beijing has its big Davos-style confab every year. Such is a day in the life of the Chinese people. We are joining their 1.4 billion army, who will mostly travel home, but also go on vacation in country and abroad for the annual New Year pilgrimage. A total of about 3 billion passenger journeys will take place, cars to buses to trains and planes my family has added to the tally two weeks on a tropical beach i can't wait i do maps on cnn and classical photos from the mao era chinese uh chinese new year a really great links here to show you the um the other maps what it was like back in the 1950s also don't miss the late the last two entertaining and informative articles plus, plus podcasts about China's uh, Millennial New Year celebration, hot off the press, and I've got the links there for you for that. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rising Radio Sino Land, signing out from uh, uh, Qionghai, Hainan. Uh, have a, a wonderful Chinese New Year.